Thank you very much for clicking this video. I am Ali Hussain and you are watching Learn with Ali Hussain. Frontend developer did lots of mistake related HTML and as a developer you should not do same mistake on your project. I recently completed HTML essential trading series and I think now I should create a tutorial about this so you can complete your total HTML related project. So if you are interested keep watching I am coming back after the intro. Thank you very much for staying with me. Before going to the tutorial, I have a request. If you still not subscribe my channel, please click the subscribe button and click the bell button next to the subscribe button so you will find all of my tutorial at first. Number one mistake. Don't place a block element into an inline element. You know, all heading element, paragraph and also div selectors, they are block element. Span, strong, they are inline element. Now, if you're interested to create an element and here you create firstly span and then link. You cannot do something like that. If you're interested to do that, at first you need to use a block element and then use an inline element. It's a big mistake and I highly recommend you to avoid this. Number two, image related. Many font and developer forget to add ALT attribute. It's very important. The reason because if you forget to use ALT attribute, many reason your image failed to load. In that case, if your image failed to load, your user will see a broken section and it's very awkward, right? But if you use a ALT attribute, user will see that here have an image and image related is this. As like, if you use a logo in your website, you can add a ALT attribute and you can write in ALT that it's a logo. In that case, if your logo fail to load perfectly, user will see that here have a logo. And number two is, frontend developer forget to explain the image extension. Like, they used logo.jpg but actually image is logo.png okay generally three types of image we used in our website jpg png and also gif so when you are using such kinds of image on your project you make sure that what kinds of image it is if you don't know what types of image it is you can check out my first tutorial html essential training series basic preparation where i said how you can check out your image related and also you can check out my html image related tutorial so you will know all about this and also many front end developer did a mistake like their image organization as like they placed their images some image in image folder some image in img folder some image in gallery folder some image in picture folder is very irritating right you can create only one folder no matter what kinds of folder it is you can rename it as your way and then collect all images and place all images in one folder so that you can configure them perfectly and if you need to create another folder you can create but make sure you linked every image perfectly with your web page so that your all images loaded perfectly number three don't use line break to create a list if you're interested to create a list you should use ordered list or unordered list many front end developers did a mistake that if they're interested to create a list they used br tag html have a tag called br and it actually give you a line break and many front end developers do same mistake that if they need to create a list they use br okay but if you're interested to create a list you should use ordered list or unordered list that are valid and if you actually create a br tag it's very irritating and it's not perfect and as a web developer and you are the student i highly recommend you to use valid html you should not use same mistake as other front-end developer. Number four, avoid inline style. You already know that you can use CSS on your HTML project three way, internal, external, and also inline. Okay. Now, if you use inline OS CSS, it's very irritating and also it's very difficult to control in CSS project. So if you need to use CSS, you should use this external way. I highly recommend you to do that. The reason because it's perfect. But if you need to use CSS, you should use this external way. But sometimes it's very difficult to use external. In that case, you need to use internal. And when you have no option, in that case, you should use inline way. But I highly recommend you to avoid this so that you can control everything from external CSS and it's very useful and also when you want to make your website responsive, it will help you a lot. Number five, border related issue. Many front end developers did same mistake. If they need to use a border, they use a HTML attribute called border and then they use this border one, border two or other. But if in your case, if you're interested to add a border, 
you should use this to css part and then you can have plenty of option related border i have a series tutorial about css essential training series and i explained everything about it you can check out that tutorial also but if in your case if you're interested to use a border i highly recommend you to use border in css part same way people do same mistake in iframe and also table i highly recommend you to skip this and go to the css part and do everything on it and number six is actually bonus and that is many front-end developer forget to use doc type i highly recommend to use doc type on your project the reason because it's ca it can give the browser a opportunity to load total website perfectly so you should use doc type on your project recently firefox have some issue it cannot load google font font or some or other and also all website what forget to use doc type that website also not loaded perfectly in firefox and you know many people using firefox at their, as their default browser so if you code your total website perfectly your website will load and no matter what kinds of browser it is so i highly recommend you to do that i think this video is helpful for you if you think this video is helpful for you click the like button and if you don't like my video click the dislike button and let me know why you don't like this if you still not subscribe my channel please click the subscribe button so you will find all of my tutorial at first i create tutorial for web design web development and also graphics design thanks for watching have a good day and stay safe i am ali hossain signing out